Hi guys, Walid here again, and we were talking about uh, the concept of classes and objects in Java, or to be specific in object-oriented programming, right? It's not a concept particular to Java only, but uh, but a concept of object-oriented programming languages, right? And as I said in the last video, that is, uh, whatever you're going to do in object-oriented programming, it's going to revolve around the concept of class and an object. So very important that you have a good understanding of these two concepts. So in the last session, we were discussing about what a class is, what an object is. Let's try to write some Java code about these two concepts and let's get the ball rolling. All right, so I'm going to create a new class here for you. As we do in Eclipse through the wizard and in the same package, training, I'm putting this name to class object demo. Let's call it class object demo, have the main method and hit finish. So Eclipse creates the file for us and again opens it for editing, right? So now let us do some concrete stuff here. So I'm going to create a class. So in the previous video, we took up one of the classic examples of a class and an object that is the idea of the almighty that is the human right and its objects now as i said we are revolved around with classes and objects you can visualize anything in terms of a class and an object so let's take another example here let me take an example of a thing that we use every single day every other second and that is a smartphone and a smartphone somebody somewhere would have designed it on a piece of paper or on a sticky pad for example or on an ipad right so how did that look right so let's design that so i'll say class smartphone as i said you can take any examples you want guys and in a smartphone what are the different things in a smartphone like we can make calls so it would be a method in the smartphone class and for demonstration always a good idea to put in a print ln statement but otherwise what goes in the make calls method of a smartphone class that is logic of how a smartphone makes calls goes here right but for now i'll just print in a system to the outer print and message so that we know we are in the make calls method. So I'll say so we know when this would be printed, we are in the make calls method. The other thing a smartphone does these days is we text each other, right? So I'll say text persons or text people, for example. And again, the logic for how does the smartphone is able to, how a smartphone is able to text others goes on in this particular method. So for now, I'll just say system out of print ln smartphones text people. And then you have other methods like, for example, white browse the internet. Obviously, one of the core functionalities of any smartphone these days is the capability to browse the internet, guys. Without it, I'm sure nobody would even buy a smartphone, right? So I'll say logic for browsing the internet goes here. Okay. And similarly, other methods which are in the smartphone class. So this is the idea of a smartphone, guys. And a smartphone has a other set of properties as well. That is, for example, a smartphone has a head. Or for example, you can say our charging port. Right. It's a variable, for example, guys. A smartphone has, you can say, for example, a camera. Let's say it is of type car or even of type, for example, long. Every smartphone has that these days. So two set of properties, guys. These are the methods. These are what I call as the instance variables. And together, these are called members of a class. That is this time, I have three methods in this class. Make calls, text people, browse internet. And I have two instance variables, charging port and camera. Right. And together, the five properties that I have in this class are called members of the class. And in this case, they are members of the class smartphone. Now, whenever you try to access them, 
right you first have to create an object of this class and this time as i was talking in the previous session how do you create objects this time i'm creating an object of the smartphone class i'll say smartphone i'll just refer to it phone and then the keyword new again which is used to instantiate a new object in java and i'll say smartphone all right and then if you want to call any of these properties i can say phone dot see eclipse gives you a good looking intelligence here i'll say phone dot camera how many cameras i have in the smartphone let's say you're talking about a modern day smartphone camera like the samsung galaxies or the iphone 12 for example i'll say or even the pixel 4 i'll say phone camera is equal to 3 you're seeing that in the latest smartphones that are rolling out these days guys and then i can even say phone dot and then charging port we still have a one charging phone and this is in 2021 guys i'm not sure if in 2023 we have three charging ports so so we really don't know what is coming in the future uh, coming on for us in the future and then we can call the methods as well i can say phone dot browse the internet if i want to browse the internet and similarly i can call text people make calls on demand and it's very important for you to realize that the methods there are in the class it isn't necessary to call all of them these are called on demand i just need to call browse internet i did that i just need to instantiate the variable camera i did that charging port i did that same and on this this should just print whatever you've written in the browse internet method and that is logic for browsing the internet goes here right that's what you've got guys and that is i've just created a simple class the idea of a smartphone and the idea of an object and as i said you're revolved around with ideas and one of the things to measure yourself on a particular programming language or a particular concept as i always tell my learners is your ability to draw different analogies your ability to draw different examples if on a particular concept you are able to draw let's say five or six examples you should know you've got a good grip on that particular concept if your problems drawing on even one or two examples then you know more efforts need to be put in for understanding that particular concept as i said i just took in the example of a human class the example of a smartphone you can have any number of examples for classes as you want you can have an example of a pen a class pen a class marker a class pencil a class furniture a class chair a class table a class monitor a class computer these are all classes and then we have their objects right when we instantiate them guys these are just two of the good examples i took for you so that is how we practically demonstrated the use case of a class and an object so i hope i was able to clarify these two core concepts for you and we'll we'll carry the discussion forward in the next video